You guys, I cannot wait to learn about what makes Europe so special. Today when we read, you're going to practice describing details in the illustrations or the photographs. Great readers look really closely at the illustrations and photographs to help them learn more. So first, I'm going to show you a map of Europe in our World Atlas book. And I'm going to make it really close to the computer so you can see. I want you to look closely at this map. What are some things you think make Europe so special when you look at the map? Let's look. Oh, I see some interesting animals. Yep, I see those too. Oh, I see, do you see that volcano at the bottom? Whoa. I see some interesting towers and buildings. Oh, wow. Europe looks so cool. We're gonna read a book that teaches us all about Europe. When we read this book, look closely at the photographs to help you learn more and understand what makes Europe so special. The title of this book is Europe. Welcome to Europe. Europe is a continent. The largest pieces of earth, of land on earth, are continents. There are seven. Europe is the yellow continent on this map. Can you touch Europe? Where is Europe on this map? The word said it's the yellow one. Get ready. There it is. That's Europe. That's good. Europe is a small continent, but it has many countries. Germany, Spain, and Italy are three countries in Europe. Can you find it, them on the map? Hmm, Germany, Spain, and Italy. Let's see, Germany starts with a G, so let's look closely. Germany, oh, there's Germany. That's a country inside Europe. What about S -sp -sp Spain, S-P, I see that blend. Sp -sp Spain, where is Spain? Hmm. Germany's there. Oh, there's Spain, way down there. And then Italy. Italy starts with an I. Oh, Italy is such a cool country. Look at This is the shape of Italy right here. Doesn't it kind of look like a boot? <laughs> that makes it really easy to find on the map. People of Europe. Each country has its own language, foods, and customs. In Germany, people speak German. They celebrate a festival called Oktoberfest. Whoa, I just learned that in Europe, all of those countries have people that speak different languages. What do people in Germany speak? Yeah, they speak German. In the United Kingdom, people speak English. The United Kingdom has a royal family. So this is Prince William and his wife, the Duchess of Cambridge, her name is Kate, on their wedding day in the United Kingdom. In Italy, people speak Italian. There is a city in Italy where the streets are waterways. There are no cars. People walk on sidewalks or ride boats to go from place to place. Whoa. In Venice, Italy, they have waterways. So like instead of streets, it's the way you get by is through water and you can go on boats or gondolas to help you get around. Whoa. Places to see. There are many things to see in Europe. People visit the beautiful parks and buildings in the cities. This is a colorful dragon fountain in Barcelona, Spain. They visit Europe's museums to see art. There are famous paintings in the museums. This is a very famous art museum in France that's called the Louvre. They come to see castles that were built long ago. Whoa, you guys, this is a castle in Denmark. Land and water. Europe has forests. Trees grow in the forests and many animals live there. What kind of animal do you think lives in those forests just by looking at the photograph? Yeah, brown bears look for food in a forest in Finland. That's another country in Europe. Europe has places that are hot and dry. The weather is good for growing olives and grapes. 
Europe also has mountains. It has groups of mountains called ranges. The tallest mountain range in Europe is the Alps. So some more mountains. What do you see in the photo that North America also has? Yeah, we have mountains too. Our mountains are called the Rocky Mountains, and in Europe they're called the Alps. Europe has many rivers. The rivers connect cities to the sea. Visitors travel on the rivers to see Europe's interesting places. So a boat right here on this river in Budapest is taking people by this beautiful building. Modern marvels. This viaduct stretches across a deep valley in France. It is the world's tallest bridge. Look at that, that's a bridge. Whoa. The bridge has tall columns and cables. The columns and cables work together to hold up the bridge. Meet an alpine ibex. Alpine ibexes are wild goats. They live high in the mountains in Europe. These goats are excellent climbers. So in this book about Europe, we learned that bears live in Europe. We learned that Europe has castles. We learned that Europe has a mountain range called the Alps. And we learned that Europe has museums. Wow, so many special things about Europe. So Kipsters, if you could go to Europe, what would you visit? What special thing would you want to see? You can think about things that we learned about in the book. And I also have a video coming up next on the playlist that teaches you even more about Europe. So after that, get a piece of paper, get a pencil, draw and write about what you would visit if you were in Europe. See you later.